Hello and welcome to your 8th Minecraft modding tutorial for Minecraft 1.3.2. This is Psychi1121 and let's go ahead and get started. So, uh, in the last tutorial, oh, uh, first off, I'm very sorry I haven't made a tutorial in like two weeks or any other kind of video. Um, I've been really, really busy with school. <clears throat> um, there's some other stuff going on that I'm not really sure I want to tell you guys, um, it's not super personal or anything, it's just, I don't know. Um, but there's other stuff going on that's taking up a ton of time. Um, and I have homework galore, all that stuff. So that's why I haven't been able to get out a video in a while. Um, this is probably some of the first time I've had enough free time to get out a video or two or three um, in the past two weeks or so. Um, and also, uh, when I'm doing these longer tutorials, uh, that are multi-part and they have a lot of really complex code, like the read from NVT, write to NVT, let me know in the comments if you want me to, like, in the last tutorial or the tutorial before that, I copied in the read from and write to NVT class, and uh, I had someone accuse me of not knowing what the code means, being a cop, all that, like just copy pasting everything and passing it on to you guys. That's not what I do. A lot of the code I put in is my own code. Um, and if I do use code that's similar to another piece of code, it's because it's standard code and that's the best way to do something. Uh, so if you don't want me to copy paste stuff, just put it in the comments and I won't do that. Um, yeah. Anyway. In the last tutorial, we had a couple bugs, and the reason for this is, well, there are several reasons, but the main reason is that we're using a red furnace, our red furnace tile entity class with the normal furnace GUI uh, with the player, and that caused some of the bugs. And so we're going to fix that by creating our GUI. So uh, just go ahead and create a new class, and this will be GUI red furnace. And the first thing we're going to want to do is extends GUI container. And it's giving us an error. Okay. So, uh, the first thing we're going to want to do is just create an instance of our um, tile entity so that we know what stuff goes where. Um, and that is tile uh, private tile entity red furnace um, t entity equals new tile entity yeah. we'll define that later um, anyway now in our constructor and I just deleted the parenthesis the bracket or the, the whatever it's called that's um, not very intelligent of me anyway uh, now for our container we want um, inventory player um, I player and tile entity red furnace T um, and we'll name this tile entity okay uh, so basically, we're just when we create this, we pass in uh, a player object and um, a tile entity object. So now we just want super new container. Oh, um, furnace, and we will create that in the next video. I had actually forgotten about that. Uh, it's a bit important. Uh, so we probably won't be able to test this out at the end of this video, but I'll create the container furnace class in the next video. Um, so new container furnace, we'll just do container furnace uh, right now. I player and tile entity semicolon and this dot furnace Oh, dot t entity 
equals tile entity. So basically what we're doing is we're passing in the inventory of the player and the inventory of the furnace. And we're going to use this later when we actually create the GUI. Um, now, one thing I forgot to mention is that generally for a GUI, you're going to have to create a .png file um, for what that GUI is. And I actually forgot to create the PNG file. So um, it's really easy for right now because we're just using the exact same thing as the furnace. Uh, you need to go to your library class or library folder, um, application support on Mac. Not sure how you get to it. Uh, actually, you know, I, yeah, I'm just going to do this. And then Minecraft, bin, minecraft.jar, and it's under GUI. Now, once we start creating a much more customized furnace GUI, we're going to have to edit this, and I'll show you um, how to edit it, but we're just going to, I'm just going to copy this furnace.png and rename it red furnace.png. Oops. First, I need to copy it. And then rename it red furnace. And I'm going to drag and drop it in here. Copy files. And then I'm going to just go ahead and delete that. Whoa, no. Okay, anyway, um, so yeah, basically what this is, is it is our, um, the basic GUI of the furnace. So you have the inventory GUI, slots, arrow, and fire. And once we start customizing this, I will show you how to uh, make this a lot more customized, but that's how you do it. Um, for our basic furnace inventory. Okay, now we want protected void draw GUI container foreground layer, no parameters, and then we want this dot font render dot draw string. And we're going to want um, just to put in red furnace because it is the red furnace. So this is the string that's, eh. sorry, for whatever reason, my tooth has been a bit weird. So I may sound um, a bit more lispy than usual. I know I sound quite lispy uh, normally, but I'll probably sound a bit more today. Anyway, uh, this is the the line of text on the top of the GUI, you'll notice that wasn't in our, um, that wasn't in the PNG file. Now we want 60, 6, this will basically just put it in the center, and a long hexadecimal thing uh, that is a color code, so 4210752. Again, we'll change a lot of these uh, once we customize the furnace, uh, the red furnace GUI. Then we want this dot font render dot draw string and we want to put inventory. I'm not sure on the furnace it says inventory or player inventory. I'm just going to put inventory. And then eight, this dot y size minus ninety six plus two. Um, I, I'm getting these numbers from the actual furnace GUI class, uh, if you're wondering. And then four two one zero seven five two will give us a nice white color. Um, yeah, so basically that's just our strings um, and we can change that around obviously you don't need to put red furnace you'll put whatever furnace you want okay now uh, and this is the final method protected 
void draw GUI container background layer float par one float no int par two and int par three. Um, I don't quite know ing part two. I don't quite know what those are yet. Um, hopefully I'll be able to figure these out as I go. So int var4 equals this dot mc dot render engine dot get texture and we want red furnace dot png is the name of our texture. So we'll actually call this texture. And then GL11, this is an OpenGL class, so we're going to need to go ahead and import this. Yeah. Um, yeah, it, let me figure out the import. I actually don't know this import method and it won't let me auto import. Um, I'm just going to go into you know what? That's the one I have open. GUI crafting. Okay. So import org dot owjgl dot opengl dot gl11. It's the import statement. We're going to put gl11 dot gl color for f. And we want 1.0 f, 1.0 f, 1.0 f and 1.0f. So basically just use our um, texture color to all its full red, green, blue, alpha capability. So int var5 equals this dot width minus this dot x size divided by 2. Um, I'll just name this x and then y equals this dot height minus this dot y size divided by 2. So this will give us um, the center, I believe. Anyway, now we want this dot draw textured model rect and we want x y zero zero this dot x size this dot y size so basically uh, this x and y will give us the center coordinates of the minecraft window and then it'll pull open the gui uh, for the x size and y size anyway uh, now we want int var seven no declaration for that and if this dot furnace inventory no this dot t entity dot is burning then we want um, sorry I was thinking of something var7 equals this dot furnace uh, dot t entity Sorry, I'm reading off of some notes here and I have it written down slightly differently. Dot get burn time remaining scaled. So that's what that method was for. And we'll put in 12. Don't ask me why it's 12. Vor 7. Vor 7. And then this dot draw textured model rect. And we want x plus 56 y plus 36 Oops, sorry um, so actually y plus 48 minus var 7 and we want then 176 sorry OCD I need to put a space there um, 12 minus var 7 and 14 
and var 7 plus 2. Var 7. Okay. Basically, what this is going to do is it's taking um, the burn time and it's translating it into the little bar, so how much of the bar should be filled. Um, yeah, for that. And now we want var7 equals this dot t entity dot get cook progress scaled 24 this dot draw texture model rect x plus 79 y plus 34 and 176 14 var 7 plus 1 and 16 um, okay, there we go. So this is just getting the little flame symbol. Anyway, now uh, we're going to go into our block red furnace class and I'm going to change this um, instead of player dot display GUI furnace. We want to do mod loader dot yeah, dot di dot display GUI uh, furnace. What is it doing? Okay, I'm going to delete this. I like. Uh, what is Eclipse doing? Mod loader dot dis. Ah. Okay. Display. Display GUI furnace. T entity. Wow. Oh, God. Okay. Um, Eclipse is bugging out on me right now. And this code wouldn't work right now either because we need our container furnace class. Anyway. Um, so that is our GUI for now. Uh, in the next tutorial, I'll, I'll talk to you guys about the container furnace class and hopefully mod loader. I mean, not mod loader. Eclipse will be a bit better um, for then. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.